Now let's talk about cross-domain policies. And the first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and check the global policy at all API level. And as you can see here, it's pretty simple, right? Now let's go to the developer portal. And let's go ahead and enable CORS for our API management. Now, let's go back to our APIs and have a look at the global policy. Now, as you can see here, by enabling CORS from the developer portal, it adds all of these tags to our global policy that's going to affect all APIs in our API management. And through this, we can allow access to other domains to our API management in this domain. So let's go back to the developer portal. And here, we can add or remove other domains to our API management. So let's go to domains in the API management. And this is the current domain that we have. And we can add new domains. However, we will need to provide a certificate for the new domains that we are going to be add in the API management. Now let's go back to APIs. Let's go to LinkedIn profile and open the policy. And from here, you can add either CORS or JSONP to control cross-domain policies for your API management. And I'm going to put a link for this page in the resources of this lecture so you can see some examples of CORS. If we go back to the API management and have a look at the global policy that we have defined, you will see that we are enabled uh, all methods and all headers for our APIs. However, you can be very specific and specify what methods exactly you want to allow and what headers you want to allow as well. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.